Let's talk about the best supplements for runners, okay? First one is magnesium. One of the first symptoms of a magnesium deficiency is you get tired easily when you exercise, okay? Why is that? Because magnesium is needed in the energy currency of your cell. It's called ATP. So you have this little energy factory mitochondria that's generating ATP all day long. You need magnesium. So if you're deficient, you're not going to have the full energy currency. So you're going to be kind of tired, especially if you exert yourself. So you need enough magnesium. All right, number two, B12, especially if you're a vegan, because most bioavailable forms of B12 uh, come from animal products. Now, exercise in general deplete B12, and so you need enough of it. B12 also has a lot to do with making the red blood cell. And what does the red blood cell do? It helps you carry oxygen. So that's important as well. If you ever consider like um, a certain type of anemia where you're lacking B12, what are you going to be? You're going to be feeling tired and weak. Um, so you need B12 to generate the uh, ox oxygen carrying capacity through the body. Also, B12 is involved with nerve muscle interaction. And so when you're exercising, you're using your muscles and you're using your nerves. You need B12. All right, number three, green tea has some really powerful antioxidants and phytonutrients to get rid of the oxidation free radical uh, frenzy that's going on when you exercise. So it's going to eliminate oxidation. It's going to help boost glutathione to get rid of free radical damage, which is going to help you recover. And it will increase uh, fat oxidation. Okay, so you're going to be able to have better performance. So green tea is good to take while you're exercising or before, actually. Number four, probiotics. And you wouldn't think something from the gut would actually help your exercise performance, but there's some real interesting research. It does, especially for recovery. And also when you have probiotics, you decrease your risk of getting an infection from exercising too much. When you exercise, especially long distance running, you really put a big stress on your immune system. So probiotics can help to counter some of that. Number five, potassium. Very, very important because every single cell has what's called a sodium potassium pump and you need 4,700 milligrams of potassium every single day because of so many little pumps in your cells that help you generate electrical current to activate the nerve muscle interaction. So if you're deficient in potassium, what happens is you get all sorts of problems with cramping, muscle fatigue, and the list goes on and on. Potassium is a key electrolyte, just like magnesium uh, for your heart as well. So it's also very important in the cardiovascular system, as well as keeping your arteries very flexible and soft. Number six, Sodium, as in the sodium-potassium pump. Without sodium, your muscles get weak. So I know people are concerned about too much sodium. You're not going to have any problem with excess sodium as long as you have enough potassium because these work back and forth. The best source of sodium would be Himalayan sea salt. Okay, number seven, beta alanine helps increase something called carnosine by 80%. And it works in your muscles. And this compound can help you decrease lactic acid, which could fatigue the muscle. It decreases acidity in general, which causes you to be tired, and it increases energy. So it's a good uh, supplement to take if you are a runner. All right, number eight, vitamin D. Vitamin D <laughs> is a very powerful anti-inflammatory, but it also has direct effect on exercise performance. I put some links down below. Also, it's very vital for the cardiovascular part of your body in supporting that. And there's a lot of other things it can do as well. And lastly, vitamin B1, it's a necessary cofactor in the energy factory, in the mitochondria, and it's needed uh, to, um, as a spark plug to make the fuel ignite. Okay, so without enough B1, you're not going to be burning your fuel that well and you're going to be tired. So this is very, very important. Also, if someone's doing uh, glucose, uh, pure glucose, um, when they're exercising, when they're doing running, your demand 
for B1 goes way up. So if you're not taking B1, you won't be able to use that fuel efficiently and you're gonna be tired or you might have other side effects. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.